Streambox Media Player. Setup Guide for Apple TV, Beta Release. You will receive an invitation from Streambox that will provide the required link for a beta version of Media Player via the Test Flight app. You first need to install Test Flight on the Apple TV from the App Store. Once Test Flight is installed, scroll and click its icon to open. From here, you can install Streambox Media Player. Once installed, open the Streambox Media Player. OK, for now we have some housekeeping to do, so let's close Media Player. Scroll to the Settings button and click. Now scroll to Exit and click. Let's scroll back up to Settings, and click to open the Settings dialog. Now scroll down to Video and Audio, and click to open. To support all videos from HD to 4K HDR, use the following settings. 1. Set the format to 1080p, SDR. 2. Leave HDMI output at YCBCR. 3. Under Match Content, set, Match Dynamic Range, to On. 4. Also, set Match Frame Rate, to On. Note, you will need to pre-test the formats you use, like 1080p or 4K, if listed as unverified formats. Now, Navigate to the Streambox Media Player icon and click. We are now back in Media Player and ready to finish setup. Next we will set color space. Here you can select from a whole range of color space profiles. We recommend for most work to select Auto Detect, it generally does a good job. There are several ways to pull a stream that we will touch on here, but it is best to review them in the Quick Start Guide. Click the Channels menu. From here, you can always select the demo to make sure all is set up and running. It can take up to a minute to fully connect to the server when pulling a stream. But once the stream is being received, the latency is usually around a second or less. Here, we see a scene from the Cosmos Laundromat video from the Blender Institute. The other methods covered in the Quick Start Guide include, pulling a stream via session ID, and using a remotely located XML file to populate the channels menu. Let's quickly talk about using an iPhone to fill in fields. For example, entering a URL can be tedious. But once you click the URL field, a keyboard input notification will appear on an iPhone with the same login. If you accept it, you will be able to enter the URL by typing, pasting, or dictating via that iPhone. Lastly, the About page has some useful information especially if you need to contact support. Here, you can read the version and build numbers, the Apple TV version, and if your model of Apple TV supports HDR. That's it. Streambox Media Player for Apple TV.